In English, we say that the mind has its objects. In Pali, they say it has its supports. And most people spend their life jumping from one support to the next to the next. And a lot of the supports are pretty fragile. You've probably seen pictures of people putting up poles and then spinning plates on top of the poles. And for a lot of people, that's what their life is like, jumping from one spinning plate to the next spinning plate. They get turned around, fall down, have no idea where they're going. Well, it's like trying to walk across a field of hot coals. You can't stay very long with any one support because it's going to start burning. So we try to find something cool. As John Lee says, when you get the mind into concentration, the word jhana is related to the verb jayati, which means to burn, but it also means to be focused on something. The kind of jhana we're trying to develop, the concentration of right concentration, is a cool fire, even though it is burning, and it's not the ultimate goal still. It's a cool place to stay. It's a cool support for the mind. You can settle in and not worry about having your hands and feet burned. And when you can settle in like this, then you can see things clearly. You're in a much better position than just jumping around on hot coals all the time. When you're well supported like this, then the mind can actually see itself and understand itself. The reason we suffer so much in life is because we don't understand our own minds. A mood comes into the mind, and we often don't know it until it's really strong. We don't know where it comes from, what sparked it, why we actually went for it to begin with. We're simply stuck with it, we think, once it gets strong like that. But we're not really stuck. If we were stuck, then the Buddha wouldn't have been able to teach us. We can unstick ourselves. We can find a cool place to stay, gather our wits about us, look around, see things clearly. And then you try to maintain the same support as you go through the day. You don't have to jump on anything else. That's the skill that we try to develop here. We develop it in a quiet place first just to get to, used to having this cool spot to stand, this cool support for ourselves. And then we want to practice carrying it around with us. This is why we do walking meditation. This is why we have people do chores around the monastery, so you can get used to having the support inside, regardless of what your other activities are. That way, when you go back into the world outside, you're, you're well supported. You don't have to depend on the world being a certain way. You've got your own inner support. That provides you with a good, safe place to stay.